Hey everyone, I'm the Fake Psychic, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. When we last left off, Merlon wanted to tell us something. What's he gonna tell us? Yep, yeah we did. Here it is. She was boring. We hate her. No, we weren't. You're lying. Well, that's special. That's also special, but she's boring as crap. Hello? It says um more than I do. Christ. I didn't know that was even humanly possible. I don't wanna. What if I don't like her? What if she's ugly? What if I drop a penny? Anyway, we could follow them, or we could take the fun way. I'm gonna opt for option two. We can go up the elevator, actually, and go to the top of the flip side tower as we ride this magical elevator of magic. You know, look around, it's nice and high, jump over doors that aren't there yet. And if you jump off the right side of the tower, you'll actually land, like, right next to where the plot point happens. I have no comment on what that dude's doing to Peach, but, uh... Yes, that's Princess Peach. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, you're not supposed to know it's Princess Peach. I'm sorry. Forgot to, you know, spoil myself. I spoiled you, I'm sorry. I mean, look at that dude. He looks like he's freaking trying to molest Peach's dead body. Not dead, but whatever. Anyway, what we're supposed to do is we're get a, supposed to get a fire burst. Now, if you got the one in Bestovius' house, then this little side thingy becomes a whole lot easier. Otherwise, you have to go to the shop on the second floor and buy a fire burst. And since I'm lazy and don't feel like it, and I got the fire burst in Bestovius' house, then... I guess I I'm winner. I'm going the wrong way, I think. No, wait. Yeah, I think it's this way? No, I was going the right way. Dang it. Yeehaw. Jumping over stuff. It's fun. There's the elevator. And we're going down. Elevator go down the hole. And in the second house we run across, there is Saffron's house. Now, she is a cook, like, uh, Tasty in one of the- in Paper Mario something, and someone else in the other one. I don't remember, because I never used it. Um, except, I think, once to make a Jelly Ultra in Paper Mario 1. But, if we give her her fi- if we give her our Fire Burst, not her Fire Burst, she'll make us a spicy soup. Now, she'll- she can also give you- there's one way to make money if you just buy mushrooms, take them to her and have them cook them, or ta have her cook them. I can't talk. Wow. And run back up and sell them, then you'll make like a two coin profit per stuff, but it's long and I don't like it. Or maybe that's a different game. I don't know. But now we have the spicy soup. So we can run back up to Peach. I'll edit that out and see you guys there. Anyway, here we are. No, that's that little kid's not Peach. At least the dude got out of the way, so he's not, like, you know, doing stuff to Peach. But after we give Princess Peach the spicy soup, she'll wake up. It's very, very simple. Hi there. 
Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. We're in Flipside, lady. What happens in Flipside stays in Flipside. Yeah. Yeehaw. We're gonna go have tea and crumpets at Merlon's house. And Peach tells us her life story. She was once a young girl in the Mushroom Kingdom. My, my father was a very, very cruel man. He made me sing for him. Well, obviously we're gonna go find more pure hearts. What do you think, you idiot? We're not young. Mario's got a freaking mustache that's almost as long as yours. Only slight exaggerations. Oh, we have to go find Merle? Well, then let's go find Merle. Oh, forget it. She's stubborn. And Peach joined our party! She controls exactly the same way she did in the Peach interlude. Hold down 2 to parasol float, and press down to guard. Yay, a key. I like keys. Keys are my friends. I don't wanna. Anyway, walking out, we get- oh, freaking tutorial. I just said that, game. What- what is wrong with you? Thank you. But anyway, to get to the next heart pillar, what we have to do- and there's me showing off the stuff- we have to switch to Mario, and flip in front of the elevator to go up to the tower. Now over here is where we use the old key, if I can get it to work. Brought, there we go. And I guess we'll just follow this path. It's about this point in the game where I start going to places where I'm not supposed to yet, because I think that that's where the next heart pillar is. Because next heart pillar's over here, guys! Oh, wait, I need a different pixel. Oh, oh darn. Wrong way. The real hard pillar that we're supposed to get now is this way. Not there. When you go down this pipe and not flip, go down the pipe. Thank you. We'll reach the first floor outskirts. Outskirts have enemies in them, as you can tell by this little... whatever it's called. Ooh, a shroom shake. I'll take that. Hmm. Oh. Well, well, that's convenient. Oh, hey, look! There's the heart pillar. Getting to it is the trick, because if you notice, Mario cannot jump that high. And over there is a staircase that's blocked off, and you really can't jump like that. If you do know, then by all means you can, I just you know the easy way. Which is to use Peach, and float over to each little box. If you screw up, you will have to switch to back to Mario and flip. But putting the pure heart in the heart pillar opens up the next door. Very orangey. I wonder what the next one's gonna be. Yeah, you really can't jump like that. And randomly jumping on whatever those are. I can't remember if the uh, the purple one is a squiglet or a squink, or if those are even their names. I think it is. Thank you. Too far up. 
anyway, I guess I will meet you guys back at the Tower of Flipside. That's, well, Flipside Tower, whatever, heart, whatever the name is. It's white and it's big and you can't miss it. See you guys there. Elevator go up. Anyway, next time on Super Paper Mario, we're going to find out what's in this door. See you guys then.